Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this week's What's For Dinner. I know you guys have been missing these and I promise they are back and here to stay. Bunky and I have just been so crazy busy lately. Like life in general is just insane and we are literally flying by the seat of our pants. Usually we have no idea what we're going to make for dinner that night. It's just been wild but I promise everything is getting back to normal and this week I have some super yummy recipes to share with you guys. I am so excited for you to see them as always I would love for you to leave me a comment and tell me which one you are most excited to make and if this is your first time here I'm so glad that you stopped by I would love for you to join our family so be sure to take a look around and hit that subscribe button before you guys leave and y'all give this video a thumbs up if you are so excited for some new what's for dinners but let's go ahead and get cooking so Bunky has been telling me for the past couple of nights that he wants tacos and I was like man we haven't had taco nachos in such a long time and y'all know we love making like sheet pan nachos because they're so simple easy cleanup they take no time at all and we need easy tonight so anyway I'm gonna get everything out and we're gonna start making so I have our santitas I feel like I always say that wrong santitas I think you got it <laughs> and then I have our cheese to go on there some salsa some jalapenos for bunk y'all look at this corn does this not sound so good southwest with mm. poblano and red peppers you're gonna love that I didn't even know we had that. I know. But that sounds great. <laughs> and then some black beans, sour cream. I have my, I about said hamburger meat. Ground beef. I have my ground beef here that we're going to cook up with some taco seasoning. You going to make it for me? The taco meat? Uh-huh. I can do it. Let's do it. Let's get Dude, it started. I'm starving. Me too. I mean, I'm hungry. Should we open this, Bunky? I see you over here. I'm telling you. I'm trying to get us to eat some cheese dip. I'm very hungry, Bunky. <laughs> I need it. Okay. Or else I'm gonna be hangry. Mm, that does look good. Oh, is this gonna be our appetizer? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Starter. Bunky. <laughs> this is a starter. And y'all, I know I always tell you this, but I seriously love these Hint Waters. Like, they are so good. He put some jalapenos in our cheese dip. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Takes it to the next level. I had to doctor it up a little bit. It was right plain <laughs> before. Okay, sir, we gotta start this meat. Mm. Okay. okay, so our beef is cooked. We went ahead and drained it and then added a little bit of water and Bunky is gonna seize it. Seize it. He's gonna season I'm gonna it. Take it. Season it. Yes. Okay, so we got our chips laid out here, and Bunky likes to do what he calls par cook. It's like the pre-bake. <laughs> the pre-bake. So we'll go ahead, you put cheese on it? Mm-hmm. So go ahead and throw some cheese on here, let those bake a little bit. That way they're nice and crispy, and then we'll add everything else and put them back in the oven. Nothing worse than a soggy nacho. Amen to that. Okay, sorry, I wasn't like, eating a chip. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little bit of my taco sauce to go on top of my nachos. And y'all had me laughing whenever Bunky and I were saying that we wanna like bottle up and make our own dressings. And a few of you said that I should bottle up my taco sauce. Yes, I should. It is so good and I'm so glad that y'all love it too. If you're new around here and have never seen me make my taco sauce before, I will leave that recipe for you guys down below in my description box. I almost forgot the key ingredient, which is a splash of apple cider vinegar. I was like, why does this taste weird? There we go. And a tang. And a tang. I like the tang. Okay, par bake is over, and now it's time to start building these nachos. I think the best thing about nachos is that you can add whatever toppings you want. You can literally make nachos like a hundred different ways. So if there is something that we did not add that you like, maybe it's fresh tomatoes or onions or anything, totally add that to yours, make them your way. Okay, back in the oven they go just for a few minutes to get this cheese nice and melted. 
Those are gonna be so good. I'm so excited. I was like, we have not had these in so long and we used to make them all the time. Yeah, and it is time for them. And you know what else? Even though it's Wednesday. <laughs> yes. Um, I love that we just like put them on tin foil and then we can just pick it up from the pan, like no cleanup. Toss it's the best the thing trash. ever. Yep. Do these not look so good? And now we're about to doctor them up some more with some sour cream and salsa and my taco sauce. Oh my gosh. Give me a plate. Yes. Woo, it's gonna be so good. Here is Bunkies, and that is what we are eating tonight. Dinner served. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, y'all, so it is actually Labor Day. Bunky is out at the farm right now. He's just making sure our little piece of land for our RV is super cleared, getting all the limbs and branches and rocks out of the way and all of that good stuff. So anyway, he will not be home for a couple of hours, but then tonight we're gonna head over to our friend's house and have a super yummy dinner cookout. I'm so excited. I know they're making ribs. We're also gonna grill out some steaks. And then my friend Anna is also making these little like twice baked potato bites. They're gonna be delicious. She's also making a yummy cake. And then I'm in charge of bringing a side dish. And I thought, you know what? I haven't had my crock pot mac and cheese in so long. And that sounds like it would be delicious with some ribs and steak and potatoes. So that's what I'm gonna make with you guys. And then of course I will show you our dinner. I'm not like full blown gonna be cooking, but I will of course share with you what we have and then the rest recipe for this crock pot mac and cheese. I've shared it one or two other times and you guys seem to love it. So we're gonna make it again. I'm gonna flip you around. We're gonna get it started. So the only thing you have to do outside of the crock pot for this mac and cheese is go ahead and boil your noodles in some salty water. And then as soon as they're done, drain them and add them to the crock pot. Okay, so I have my noodles cooked and drained, and then to them, I'm gonna add one stick of butter. This is literally like a dump and go, okay? One stick of butter, one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, three beaten eggs. I'm gonna add salt and pepper to taste. And then it also calls for about three cups of shredded cheese. If you just wanna throw some like shredded cheddar cheese in there or grate your own, totally fine. I just love doing like the Velveeta cheese. I think it makes it creamier and silkier and just so yummy. So I have this 32 ounce block here and I did about a little more than a quarter of it um, into small little cubes. I'm gonna throw that in there and then just a little bit of shredded cheese as well and pop a lid on it for about four hours on high. And I did use one of these little plastic liners just because with baked mac and cheese, y'all know it can kind of get like baked onto the sides of your crock pot and it is a bear to clean up. So I did go ahead and use one of these just so it's easy cleanup. But like I said, I'm gonna put the lid on. I'll check back on it in just a little bit and kind of give it a good stir, make sure all that butter has melted and everything is getting nice and incorporated. And then it should be ready. If you wanna put this on low and do it all day, you can do that as well. It's kind of getting later in the day and I gotta get this cooking. So anyways, that is it and we'll check back in a little okay, bit. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I'm just gonna take this lid off and give it a big stir and then it should be good to go for the rest of the time. If you feel like yours is getting too dry and you wanna add a little bit of milk, by all means, make it the consistency that you like. But it is looking so good. Okay y'all, so my Bunky is back now from the farm. The macaroni and cheese has been on for about four hours, so it should be pretty much perfect. And we are headed up the street to our friend's house to have a cookout. And like I told you guys, I will of course show you all of the yummy food that we're gonna have. But let me tell you, I took it by this mac and cheese and it is so good. Okay, you guys wanna peek at it? It's called no peek macaroni. Whatever it is. What's it called? No, it's not. You guys put it in there and then they don't take one single peek at it. 
Oh, I peeked like four times and it just looks amazing. I did put um like just a splash of cream in there a little bit ago just to give it a little bit more moisture, but I think it is perfect. So my friend Anna made these little twice baked potato bites using red potatoes and y'all they were not only adorable but they were so delicious. I'm totally going to have to make those and then we had ribs, green beans, we had some rolls, steak, all kinds of yummy goodness and then she also made this cake. Oh my word y'all this was so yummy. Okay, so we are out of the farm. My parents are actually out on a walk. Bunky is up kind of clearing our little bit of land for our RV. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on chicken. And I think I mentioned this somewhere in a video recently. We were over at Bunky's parents' house having dinner. And we made like my um, Italian dressing and honey mustard chicken. And then we also made my favorite little kale salad, which we haven't had in a long time. I love the dressing for that. And there was like a little bit of dressing left and I dipped my chicken in it and it was amazing because it's like a little bit of that sweetness from the honey mustard, but also like that tang and garlic. It was so good. So I was like, what if I grilled my chicken that's been marinating in honey mustard and Italian dressing and then pour that sauce over it with a little bit of like Parmesan cheese and bake it. I mean, it may not be healthy, but it just sounds so good. So that's what we're going to try and make tonight. And I hope it turns out really good. So I have my chicken in this bag and it's been marinating for about two or three days. So it should have lots of flavor. And like I said, it's just my honey mustard Italian dressing. Um, and then mom cut up some potatoes. And I think we're just going to drizzle these with also some Italian dressing and a little bit of like Lowry's seasoned salt and then pop those in the oven and bake those. So that will be really good. And then she also made this like chimichurri, I guess what you call it, chicken in the crock pot. And then she's gonna um, shred that up for some tacos. So that sounds and good. And then for my dressing that's gonna go on top of this chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and make it so the flavors can kind of marry together while the chicken is grilling. We're gonna use some sour cream, some olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, Parmesan, and then some salt and pepper. It is the best dressing if y'all have not tried it. I highly recommend eating it on a salad or we're just gonna eat it on some chicken like tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this. Y'all, I cannot believe that Bunky and I went so long without making this dressing. It's supposed to be kind of like a Caesar dressing and y'all know we used to make it all the time and I don't know why, but we just kind of like forgot about it or stopped making it and I will never do that again because it is so good. But if you guys have not seen this dressing recipe, I will leave it down below in my description box for you. Okay y'all, so I have our chicken here. I just put it off the grill and it's probably 95% of the way cooked, but since it is gonna bake in the oven, it's okay if it just like finishes cooking in there. And then I'm gonna take my sauce that I made and just kind of drizzle it on top. And then we're gonna add just a little bit more Parmesan and mozzarella to the top to make it nice and cheesy. I think this is gonna be so good. Okay, oven is on 400 just because the potatoes are in here. I'll probably just let these cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, mama, you tell us what you've got going on over here. Girl, what you doing over here being fancy? I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We make it work. We got jalapeno, tomato, cilantro, onion, cheese, sour cream. Yes. So you're making little tacos out yeah, of this we'll chicken. Tacos. And then where do you want these tomatoes? I think we're gonna roast these in the oven. We love tomatoes in the season. Gotta get them all in. That's right. This looks so beautiful, like so colorful. Chicken is out of the oven and it looks so good. So we will try it and I will tell you guys what we think. And then the potatoes are done and then all of the chicken and stuff are tacos. So we are about to dig in. Okay y'all, update on this chicken is I love it. I think it's so delicious. I love the like sweet and savory together. I think it makes like the perfect combo. A little bit of Parmesan on there to give it like, a little bit of that nutty flavor. 
it is so good you guys are gonna have to try it and tell me what you think I could pretty much eat that little dressing on anything dip it in some carrots some potato chips you name it I just want to eat that dressing <laughs> so anyway you guys try it tell me what you think it was so good Bunky is still out working clearing land so probably gonna have to go make him a taco here soon and take it to him I'm sure he's getting hungry but anyways Dinner at the farm tonight was very delicious. Okay, y'all, so tonight for dinner, Bunky and I are gonna make like a lemon ricotta chicken pasta. We both have been really in the mood for pasta and was trying to think of like something different that we don't normally make. And I thought, this sounds so good and there's only very few ingredients. We're actually at the beach right now if like my background looks so weird. Um, so we're making dinner at the condo tonight and I was like, what can we do that's not too extravagant but that will still be delicious? So that's what we came up with. I'm gonna flip you guys around and we're gonna get started. Yeah, I'm gonna give you kind of the rundown of what we're doing. I semi looked up a recipe and of course I'm pretty much just like making it my own as well. So we're gonna do a little bit of chicken with some olive oil and butter in a pan and then to season it we're gonna do some of this Italian seasoning and I'm also gonna do some garlic powder and some crushed red pepper flakes. So that will start cooking and then the water because this oven and stove top situation <laughs> takes forever. Bucky and I always say we can never go back after having we're, gas. I think we're just spoiled by gas. Yes, we are. So anyways, we're going to get the water on for the pasta and then we'll get the chicken started. So once those are done, all we're going to do is just make a little ricotta mixture basically. So we'll use like probably most of this container and then lots of parmesan. We're going to use the juice of a lemon and also if we can find a zester, we're going to try and zest this. But like I said, we're at the beach and we don't have all of our normal stuff, so we'll see. And then we're gonna add some garlic, some more crushed red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil to kind of make it thinner. And that's it. So I think it's gonna be super simple and very delicious. Okay, I'm gonna put this pan on like Medium. I was gonna say low, but in here we gotta do some medium because this thing don't get hot enough. I'll put it on medium and see where that gets us. Yes. Okay, let's get your boots. We're gonna do a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter. Okay, and once these get nice and like melted and a little bit warmer, I'm gonna add in the crushed red pepper flakes and garlic. That way they can go ahead and like flavor the oil and butter. Okay, since Bunky is so good <laughs> at uh, mincing garlic with a knife, I'm giving him this duty. Do you want me to do all three? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know we like it garlicky. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some crushed pepper flakes to this butter and oil. Uh-oh, slowing down, I'm getting close. Mm-hmm. If only I had my mandolin with me. Have <laughs> <laughs> you throw me just a teensy bit of that in my pan? Just a little bit, because I'm going to use like garlic powder too, but you know, fresh garlic is just is that good? so much better. Yeah. Okay, so to this chicken, I'm just going to add some Italian seasoning and then some salt and pepper and garlic powder. This, this is the worst uh, pepper grinder I have ever oh. dealt with. I didn't buy this. Like, I can't even get any to come out. Funky, we don't need that negativity in this kitchen. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that's going to be so good. It smells amazing. Let me see your garlic over here. Mm hmm. Looking good. Mm hmm. Y'all, I'm sorry the lighting in this kitchen gets kind of crazy. It's like so dark and then so bright. If you don't stop complaining about this kitchen. <laughs> Negative Nancy over here. Bunky, that's so mean. It's true. Be thankful. Okay, I think it's time to turn our chicken. Ooh, you said you wanted some color. Bunky, I gave you some color. It is. Well, that's what we're looking for. We were going to grill this chicken and then we got like super lazy and it's kind of late. So like we'll just do it in here and Bucky's like only if there's some color on this chicken. So don't burn our garlic. What's that pan for? Um I kinda wanted to like cook this garlic a little bit. <laughs> I don't want it to be like raw in there. Okay. Like, I'll just, say it. Just a just a smidge. We don't even need to do it yet though. Yeah. That's some good 
Okay, water is boiling, so let's go ahead and add our pasta. We're just gonna do um, linguine, but you can do this, you can do spaghetti, fettuccine, whatever pasta you want. Can I do it, babe? I think bucatini was the recommended noodle. Yes, we, when we looked at this recipe, they said bucatini, but we couldn't find it anywhere. We're gonna shoot for half the box. Or is that even too much, you think? I mean, too much. Yeah, it's fine. Really, yeah, this, we don't need quite that much. Maybe like a third. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's enough noodles for us, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, nothing more after I drop that one. Should I put it in there? No, give me this. All right. Should I break them in half? Yeah. They say you're not supposed to do that. Why? It's not what the Italians do. <laughs> Yo, it is so they late. Have, they probably have bigger pots, though. Probably. We're just... Uh, negative Nancy. Negative Nancy. The Italians have bigger pots. <laughs> Look at it. It's fitting. See? It's fine. Don't try to call me Negative Nancy. We ate lunch at like 3.30, by the way, which is why we're eating so late right now. I have something to stir this around. Okay, y'all, so I took the chicken out of the pan. It looks so good. I'm just gonna sit it aside to um, rest. And then in that same pan, Bunky just added his little bit of garlic so we can saute it before we add it into our ricotta mixture. Okay, so I will leave this recipe down below for y'all, but I'm just gonna use about three-fourths of this container since it's just Bunky and I um, of the ricotta. Well, that looks like plenty right there, boo. Okay. And then um, also you wanna retain some of your pasta water to add to this just so that it's not too thick. Okay, so to this mixture, I'm gonna add in some olive oil. Okay, I'm gonna do about a handful of Parmesan. We'll probably add more to the top. I'm gonna shove this uh, lemon into this little lime juicer, but I'm um, just gonna add the juice of probably this entire lemon. I couldn't find a zester, so no worries. We just will leave that part out. Like an extra lemon. Yeah. Monkey, this is like a tight squeeze. No pun intended. You want me to do it? <laughs> yes. Wow. I don't think that's gonna work. I think you're just gonna have to like squeeze it normally. Who are you talking to? <laughs> we'll just split the lemon in half. Okay. <laughs> then that's how we get our zest. And then Bunky has been sauteing our garlic, and we also added a few um, crusher pepper flakes in there, and I'm just gonna add this to our ricotta mixture as well. Okay, salt and pepper, a little bit of pasta water, and that's it. Less, we can't take it out. Hey, either. more than that. All right. Bunky gives me a teaspoon of pasta water. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, you can't take it out once it's in there. So you better stir, stir, stir that ricotta. You gotta find me some more pepper because that just don't work. Okay, I'm gonna add in a little bit more parm. Okay, so this is the consistency like that you want. And then you could literally just like dump your pasta after it finishes cooking into this bowl and mix it all together so you don't have to dirty up anything else. Taste of this yet? Taste it. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Need more garlic? Mm-mm. Let me taste it. Mm. That is really good. Yeah. Okay, pasta is done. We're just gonna pop it back into this pot and then we're gonna literally just make everything in this one pot. So I got the chicken cut up. Mm -hmm. I think this is gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. The chicken? That chicken is delightful. I'm telling you, that's like my favorite little seasoning combo. That's crazy how good that is. Okay, don't do all of it because I might not eat all of it. Right. So, start with about half. Uh-huh. A little more? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll use my handy dandy spoon here. B, this is gonna be so good. And it is recommended to drop. Are we gonna put that parsley on here or do you wanna uh we can try. This recipe calls for basil, basil, which I think would be incredible and give you that like bright freshness, but we don't have any basil. We checked Walmart and Publix and neither of them had it. Yeah. But we do have some parsley, so maybe we'll try. Y'all, does that not look so good? And this is like the simplest little like 15 minute pasta ever. Should we sample it? Yeah. 
Come here. I think with the chicken, it's going to be like even better. Yeah, it's going to give it that that herbaceousness that we're looking for. Okay, Mr. Herbaceous. <laughs> Is it good? Mm hmm. The chicken makes it. Mm hmm. It's delicious. Yum. That lemoniness. It's almost like I'm eating a red lobster. Red lobster? Funky. Everybody loves red lobster. But what do you mean? This is like not everything to do with red lobster. Y'all get it. Y'all know that you would eat this at red lobster. What? Pasta? Yes, Bunky. Bunky, I've never eaten at red lobster. You don't know what you're missing out on. Like, I could have seen if you said Olive Garden. Look, are we eating on real plates or are just out of this We're just going to eat it out of this pot. Okay. Okay, so I did end up putting it into a bowl just so I could, like, take a picture for my thumbnail. But, y'all, I took a bite and it is so good. Like, so much lighter and more refreshing than, like, chicken alfredo. It's not so heavy. And it took no time to make. It's so simple. Delicious. I will say, like, adding that little bit of pasta water is definitely, like, key because that helps the, like, ricotta stick to the pasta. But, oh, my gosh, it is really, really good and, like, lemony and just fresh. I love it. How's the parsley with it? <laughs> you don't like it. I mean, I'm just a little. Your, I mean, it your, is basil. Your presentation over here, I'm just a little. Baby, my present. No, I feel like monkey, you spread it out. Monkey, for my picture, this is how it's supposed it's to look. It's a big chunk like that. Y'all, tell my bee. Look, let me show them. Take that off of there. Okay, let me just do it. Now move that. Move that one out of the way. Did you even try it with this parsley? No. That's gonna be so cute for my intro. Thank you. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay, B, yours is better. I do what I do. Um, anyways, that is what's for dinner tonight, and it is so good. Okay, we have two things we want to tell y'all. First off, three things. All three things. We're eating over here because the actual kitchen table is my temporary desk. Okay. <laughs> but this would be, I think, a lot more delicious with basil instead of parsley. Yes. Parsley is still good. It but I think the a, basil is like crucial. It's it's a it's a brighter herb. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're it so would, fancy. It would pair so much better with the lemon. Okay, anyway. in my opinion. And then secondly, what is that? Oh. My my friends, linguini does not get enough love. <laughs> like I don't know why we never eat linguine because... It's so good. Yeah, like, I don't even know why it's better than, like, spaghetti. Eh. It's like a mix between spaghetti and fettuccine. Yeah, and it is really good. So, if you have not been... On your linguine game. Uh, trying the linguine, you need to. But y'all, it's good. Mm-hmm. And so easy. I would almost liken this to a chicken scampi. Oh, Wow. I know. That's where that's where my red lobster reference was coming in, but you obviously know nothing about red lobster. Monkey, I have never eaten there. Okay, and just for my defense, I have never eaten at Red Lobster because I don't like seafood of any kind. So like it would never make sense for me to go there in my mind because I only eat like chicken tenders. By the way, for my seafood lovers, I think shrimp would also be very delicious with this. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so that's going to do it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got lots of great meal inspiration for you and your family. Leave me a comment and tell me which recipe you are most excited to make. I love you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.